Hey everyone, we wanted to send this video out to get you some more information about the sermon series that we're going to be starting next Sunday, June 28th. We're calling this series Finding God in Narnia. And for the next five weeks, we're going to root ourselves in the study of some of the central passages and themes of the Bible, while also exploring how the Chronicles of Narnia books written by C.S. Lewis illustrate those themes and help us better understand them. So that's what this series is all about. Um, but why are we doing it right now? Well, C.S. Lewis was one of the most important Christian authors and thinkers of the 20th century. And his series of books, The Chronicles of Narnia, are some of the most scripturally rich and imaginative expressions of biblical theology ever written. For decades, they have captured people's attention and redirected their thoughts and hearts to the living Christ. Lewis himself once described these books as being written in order to give people an imaginative welcome to the Christian faith. Now, we're entering into a season where we will continue to have families worshiping together, both in person and online. And this series is going to focus on key biblical themes like salvation, forgiveness, doubt, purpose. Uh, what does life eternal with God look like? These are ideas that people of all ages need to hear about often. So it's a good thing that we can talk about them together. But exploring how Lewis used the Narnia books to illustrate those key truths also gives us some unique opportunities to, to do some things in our time together they can help us worship effectively as families during this unusual time. Now, there's one other benefit to doing this series. I believe it can also help us all grow in our understanding that all truth is God's truth. And it can help us develop a framework for having faith conversations with friends about how God might want to use some of the elements that are present in the books that they read or the songs they listen to or the shows that they watch to open up their eyes to His truth and the work He wants to do in their lives. So, what can you do to get ready? Well, you don't need to do anything. Uh, even if you've never read these books or if you're new to studying the Bible, we will present things in such a way that everyone can understand and follow along each week. But if you want to, I would encourage you to read these books if you've never done that, or reread them if it's been a while since you have. They're wonderful books that can teach you something new each time you read them. And I would suggest that you start with the book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, since that's where the sermon series starts. Uh, if you've got kids at home, have them read it, or, or better yet, read it aloud together, or listen to the audiobook version of it together as a family. It only takes about four hours, but it could be a great experience for you all to do together. So that's where we're going for the next few weeks. We're looking forward to seeing what God wants to teach us in this series. So we'll see you this Sunday, either online or in person, as we head into the wardrobe together.